Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add server buttons to your roll attack fan game. Now, pretty much, server buttons are where you touch a button and it sends you to another server. So, for example, server 1, 2, 3, whatever. You can also have a starting server. The script for it will be my Discord server, which is the first link in the description. You just gotta scroll down a tiny bit and you'll find it. Also, join my Discord server if you have any questions, maybe something doesn't work for you. And just join it because it's a great server. Like and subscribe, leave a comment, and yeah, let's get straight into the video. So, to start off, you need to go to my Discord server, scroll down in the channels on the left side and you need to find one that says server switch or server buttons or something so once you find the channel there'll be a script in there just click the download button on the script and it'll download the script then you just want to drag it into unity so the script is called change server so download it drag it in now what you got to do you could add it to your computer if you want it doesn't matter but you need to set up some server buttons so i'm just going to make a cube i'm going to drag the cube up here So what you need to do, go to the link in the description, it'll bring you to photonengine.com. You should already have an account and be signed in if you followed my Photon VR tutorial. If you didn't, you need to go watch that or else none of this will work. But you need a Photon account, sign in. So then once you're in, you need to click on create a new app. Make sure it's on multiplayer game for the select Photon SDK thing. Click on pun and then the application name called server one or whatever server and then click create. Also, in case you have multiple games, you should correspond it with your game. So if your game's called monkey runners or whatever, do server one monkey runners. Just so you, you know, can tell the difference. I'm just gonna do tutorial. And now you need to do this again and make a voice one. Click on voice. And for application name, once again, do server one and then your game name and then create. Then you need to do the same thing for your other servers. Now that we have all of these, find your server one, click on the app ID here and then do control C to copy it. And then on the server one button for the app ID, paste that in. And then find the voice ID for server 1 and do the same thing, but this time paste it in voice ID. And then do the same things for server 2 and 3. There we go, now we have all of that. There's one essential thing, make sure on all of these cubes, turn on is trigger here, or else they won't work. You also gotta make sure your gorilla rig on the left hand and right hand controller, they both have a tag called hand tag, and they both have a layer, the left hand can be left hand, the right hand can be right hand. It's really easy, you know, add tag add layer whatever and then make sure that they both have a sphere collider which you can add by typing sphere collider both of them should have sphere collider with is trigger turned on and with a radius of 0 0.06 and now this all should be working so let's test it out so here's our model and to know that it's working pretty much what will happen the model will disappear for a second so let's do that and as you can see it disappeared so just join server 2 we can make it join server 1 there we go. Now, as you can see, they all work. Now, this isn't like Gorilla Tags one where you type in a code because that's a tiny bit more advanced, but not really. I can make a tutorial on that if you want. Just comment that down below. And yeah, once again, the script for that is in my Discord server, link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. Also, join my Discord server, link in the description if you need any help with Unity or anything. And just join because it's a great server to be in. And once again, comment down below if you want a full room computer tutorial, because I can surely do that. Consider becoming a channel member to get so many awesome perks. For the small price of $2 a month, it's really worth it. You get so many stuff, including getting a shout out at the end of every single video just like the people on the screen right now anyways guys that's it for me today peace